Oh, so this is a display depicting a, uh, a Waffen SS machine gunner um, in the Eastern Front of the Winter War. Uh, very bad for the Germans, uh, very good for the Russians. Uh, the camouflage on the mount, uh, the backdrop, all this stuff is trying to make this stuff here. Good. Everything in the display is original. There's no reproductions in there except for the face covering. Uh, on the uh, but all of the, uh, the uniforms and the material is pretty correct for that kind of man. Uh, if you look at the NG34 is a registered machine now, uh, and all of its accessories are original as well. The stuff to the left, uh, standard accessories for the machine gun, the very with the tools that they carry, they can pretty much prepare and keep you going for Standard loadout for the machine gunner is what he's wearing now. Uh, when I put this thing together, I would bet that with the stuff on his back and the stuff on his front, he's got 100 pounds of stuff uh, With the spare barrel and the, and the ammo and everything else, for an anti-aircraft crew, 600 round belt were pretty standard. They would carry 600 rounds belted and then ammo cans on the side and they would re refill their cans out of those belts as they leave. Okay. So a lot of gear to carry around in. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. The tripod by stuff weighs 50 pounds. And, and one guy carried that and, and four ammo cans. Get the sights and there. People love to collect those sights on your sales. There's, there's a couple variations you've got to be careful with those. There's, there's a lot of reproductions out there, yeah. and the factory sites are marked. Yeah, they're all numbered. I'd say there's not many people who have seen this badge before. I have a list of all the people that have gotten, all the people that were awarded the Verse Sport Crates by number. Right. So I can I can identify the guy. You know exactly who, who had it, who wore it? Yeah. I don't know. You know I, I, th I may have that list with you, but I'm not sure. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I took that out of my, uh, took those out of my collection. Something I have to get with my son and organize these. This knife is a, it's a standard close combat knife. Uh, they got popular in World War I. Um, a lot of guys in World War I would, would mark their knives with, with engraving and things. And this one, this one is commemorating a battle, um, 1914 to 1916. Uh, some, some campaign. There's no, there's no more detail on it than a campaign.
made on the Yes, it is. Well, people will enjoy seeing this. Horsehair pad that goes in the sleeve. Uh, Those are usually missing. Wow. Yeah. Pretty good. Thank you. Not at the moment, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the Yeah. Nobody knows what it is. Nobody knows what it is.
Is all this blown to one man? This is all one man? No? Okay. Gotcha. Young fireman said, I want to start collecting our fire department. There you go. There you go. Starter collection. Yep. So every few years we got a new helmet. I don't think we can keep you from <laughs> Well, I'm just being respectful, you know. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to keep people nowadays from videoing everything in the world, you know, so. What are you doing with the video? I have a YouTube channel. Jump sales, the good stuff does it. Yeah, dude. I hear that. Let's
detail of all that. Chinese Combat Command. This is all from one grouping, one guy, or is it? Uh, no, one group, one guy. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Guys, I'm here with Mike. He has a really nice collection of the Elite SS items. Really nice SA banner. Tell me about this banner. Can you tell me anything about the banner? Yeah, I got that banner about five years ago at the SOS show. Okay. From a gentleman that brought it back from uh, from Germany. Very nice. Yeah. Double sided. Yeah. It's double sided. Yeah. You need to have that. Yeah, I like. It. I wish I had the money to part with. <laughs> Tell me about the SS helmet. Yeah, I got this SS helmet about 20 years ago. It's a real clean, real nice helmet. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you asking for that one? I'm asking uh, 7000 7000 Yeah. 
This one here is a really superb one here, though. Oh, yeah. what's the what's the uh, deal with that unusual decal on oh, that yeah. one? That's Trombler. That's a that's a, that's rare. Okay. You don't see those anymore either. That's a rare. These helmets are about fifteen thousand now. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a nice one. One year. I only made them one year. Really? Yeah. This, this helmet here is real nice. This helmet here, the chicken wire is very ornate. Yeah. And then you can still see all the stuff still stuck in there. Yep, definitely can. Stick the straw and everything in there, yeah. Boy, Adolf's seen better days. Oh, yeah, that was blown up <laughs> in one of the uh, schools. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's why it looks like that. Green paint remaining on that one, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I love the the relic look like that, the really used look, you know, yeah. salty. Yeah, like, me too. I'm all that's about the salty. I like it. Just like, like that. just like this. I got to show this. To okay. You. Oh yeah, look I at love this. that. Paper buttons. Look at how many times it was repaired. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at the blood on it. That's Wait, great. That's crazy, right? I love it. Arm. The arm is all. The arm. That. That's crazy, right? Well, they did what they had to do. Yeah. That's a great though. I love yeah. the salty and the saltiness. Yeah. Is that a great coat? That's a. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh? Wow. All tailor made. See the sleeve? Yeah. It's pinstriped inside. Yes, sir. Beautiful. And then you got your. Uh, how about this? I know this is up your alley. Yeah. It's all marked inside. Wow. Pants go with it too. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Let me get a close up of that. Sure. Beautiful. I like it. Thank you. I like it a lot. By Don Boyle. I bought that ring 10 years ago and saved it. And then I seen Don at the SOS show. And he went ahead and uh, told me where it came from. It was, it was dug up. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I bought it 10 years ago. And it was, uh, I bought it. Those are expensive now, too. Okay. Sep Dietrich's watch. Yeah, Sep Dietrich's watch. Now I'll show you. Okay, you go ahead. Now here's the back. <laughs> okay. It's got two stamps on the band. And then you watch this. Oh, nice. Pops open. You open it up here, it says to Sep with all my love, Ursula. Really? Yeah, take a look at it. Focus, baby. Wow. That's it's got crazy. all look at it, it's got all the markings inside too. Look at this. See the markings in there? Yep. The case itself is freaking. Oh cool. the Case is just <laughs> outrageous. Look at the case. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, that's nice. I didn't even put it out because this is a prototype, one of a kind German Stenda pistol that was brought back by a vet from World War II. Okay. When it was first captured, it had a shoulder stock with it, but the vet couldn't carry both of them back, so he left the stock behind. Okay. But it's all totally handmade. Oh yeah, Prototype. and it's it's in 30 caliber Luger. Okay, and it was taken in a combat situation. Very nice, one of a kind. One of a kind. Yeah. What's the other side look like? Very cool. We're lucky to have that. That's a great piece. Yes, it is. What's the story on the uh, Turkish-looking revolver? Well, that was brought back by a World War II vet out of Austria. It's an Austrian gasser that was done up for sale to Turkey but never got there. So oh, it's, it's an 11 millimeter gasser. That's very cool too.